Hello and welcome to my Dermatoscope Reviews. Um, this is the Dermlite Handyscope. Now for today, I'm just showing you the equipment. To learn how to use it in more detail and how to interpret what you see, please come along to one of our Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners events, which you can access through the PCDS website, pcds.org.uk. So this is the Dermlite Handyscope. As you can see, it's a very small scope and it comes with this silicon protective cover and universal phone adapters. The silicon protective cover, it slips into very nicely and easily and is fairly firmly held in there. And this has a little ring so that you can attach it to a lanyard should you so wish. And it comes out quite easily as well. Now, the Dermite Handyscope is very simple to use. There is just one button. It's this red one at the top here. You press it once to turn it on. It comes on in polarised mode. You can press it again to switch to non-polarised mode. And if you press it again, you will get an external torch that can be used for just illuminating the skin. You can keep pressing to go between the modes like so, and when it's time to turn it off, just press and hold on the button and it goes off again. There's no need to focus this scope, it's a fixed focus scope, so there's no issues with focusing it. And the end plate here will clip off, just comes off like that. And so it can be used for polarized non-contact dermoscopy where you don't want to compress the surface vessels, for example, for superficial BCCs. To put the end plate back on, you simply clip it back into place, making sure that it's held on firmly so it doesn't fall off. And it does come with a few disposable ice caps, um, which are the plastic covers that can be used for use on bleeding lesions or mucous membranes. It charges using a C lead into that little um, port there, and it will not turn on when the charger is attached. Now it comes with some adapters for use with phone cameras. So this one is the standard Dermlite um, adapter, magnetic connect adapter. It just attaches like that. So I've put that in place there. And then we have this on the phone, sorry, so that we can attach it like that. And that will take beautiful photos. So that's one way to attach the camera. The other way is using this bit of equipment here. And this is quite neat. So if you're going to use this, and it comes with a few of these so that you can upgrade your phone every so often. And um, if you're going to use this, then what you do is you line it up over the camera on your phone and you stick it down. Now you can either stick this little metal ring to your phone or you can get a separate case for your camera and stick it onto that. And then what you do is you have this extra piece of equipment here. And what happens is if you attach this to that and then this to that, that will let it attach it straight onto your camera. So if you are going to use this, what you would normally do is you would normally line it up, sorry, where it says camera there, you would line it up like that, leave this attached to this, and then you can just pop it on like that when you're going to use it and take it off like that. I haven't actually attached this one to the phone, as you can see, but that's another very neat way to attach a um, uh, to attach the handy scope to your phone camera so that you're not fiddling about each time you use it. So overall, this is an excellent scope. It will take really good quality pictures. You can't look through it very easily with the naked eye. If you do, you really need to have your eye up right against it. And it's quite difficult to see through it if you're wearing glasses. It's really designed to be used with a camera. Um, but that's absolutely fine. It is an excellent quality scope. As I say, for today, I'm just showing you the equipment. To learn how to use it in more detail and how to interpret what you see, please come along to one of our Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners events, which you can access through the PCDS website, which is pcds.org.uk.